Art has been a part of me from childhood. It's something that I love to do. It's something that, that keeps me calm. It's something that, that makes me happy. It's something that when I'm doing it, I feel like I'm in another world. I'm not on earth again. So I'm, I just love art. By anyone's standard, Krivios Mbashu is a creative and remarkable young Liberian man. His desire to change the world through art started at a very young age. I started as a child artist by drawing uh, objects from sketchbooks of those pictures books that I would see that my mom would buy. Basically, I used to love them, drawing them. So that's how I started drawing. And from there, I got in, enrolled in the child art. They had an art program that was sponsored by UNICEF and the director was Fatou Wemonga. But I also wanted to come on a bigger picture to uh, reveal my talent more to people and to tell people what really art is. Because in Liberia, art is like something that nobody really considers like a career. The availability of materials. We don't really have art materials. We have few materials that will be brought into the country by maybe the level need. And also the another challenge is that client to get somebody to buy your work or to get, let's say, an international partner to expose your artwork from Liberia internationally, to get gallery out there to expose your work, it's very hard. Basically now, for the stage I'm on now, a lot of people appreciate my work because I've done a lot of poetry, a lot of contracts for people, and they really love my work. They encourage me a lot. Wow, it's uncountable. <laughs> yeah, it's uncountable. I've done a lot of female people. One of them, the most one that I really loved was the one I did for Mirabro. Yeah, she was like, wow, is this a librarian painting? And she thought it was a foreigner who did our work. So when she finally got to know that a librarian, young entrepreneur did our work, she was so happy with how lengthy discussion. And she even planned a visit to see us, and we saw her, and she was so happy, encouraging her. You know, Mary Bro is someone that really loves art. I can tell anyone for free. And she explained art well. My talent was not seen out there. I want to go teach and come back. Nobody will see my painting. No one will see my work. I won't express myself. I won't tell my story through my art. So that's how I, I got the courage. I started making a plan along with a friend called Kuhn, Neon Kuhn. We booked the space and we paid the rent. And we started off. In the next two, three years, I will have if I have the opportunity to travel, I want to have or like an art store, art supply store. I've been seeing a librarian having an art supply store. So we want to get them from like the Lebanese or someone else that maybe will be coming from abroad. We pay and they bring it. So I want to have an art supply store. The next thing, if I can have a school to teach other young artists, because I was fortunate to be part of the UNICEF art program, True Child Art. So I think I can help all the young artists to come out to because art is a career. Art is a career that people go to university to learn. So if I have that talent through just by practicing in Liberia where there is no art institution right now that giving BSc or master degree in art, I think that would be a blessing to all the young people. Basically what I would say to Liberian is um, if you have a talent, believe in yourself, keep pushing forward, don't let your dream die. If you can play soccer, keep playing soccer and be the next job we are or be more than the next job we are. Because there are maybe last year he may have or you may you know observe for him. If I want to be the next Picasso in Liberia, I will pin and my painting will take me places. So if you have a talent, if you have a skill, keep doing your skill. And also I want to encourage all librarians to support librarian entrepreneurs. Be it beast making, shoes making, whatsoever handmade material that librarians are doing in order to empower us entrepreneur, librarian made products. If librarian, I mean, you know, buy our product, we will be able to 
improve ourselves by improve materials and maybe if we can get a uh, link to international partners then we can showcase our talent in library can be one of the best in entrepreneurship when it comes to hand making materials or product on my visit to his shop he shows fabulous art galleries ready for sale it's great to be in your workplace can you tell us more about your pictures so um for this painting it talks uh, speak of girl education and there's a common saying that if you educate a girl, you educate an entire nation. So I would like people to know that educating a girl would be good and if I can have a female artist that would be great too, I would be happy. They had a uh, red background with some splash of color, just an expression for artists. And this is a zebra that represents Africa, the beauty of Africa and one of the beautiful animals is the zebra. Yeah. Okay, and this one, can you tell us more about this picture? So, um, this is more of, you know, in a love form, you know, like a lady, you know, trying to do some romance stuff. It's basically a, about love, this piece right here. So, you what is the, the story love, behind this love painting? The, okay, you see the love sign, the heart sign, and it shows you that how the woman has a power when it comes to love. So, this is my, you know, interpretation of of, of this and the background is dark it show you some dark side of, of love so this is really what it says so what came to your mind before you decided to do this painting i was just thinking about love <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. and uh, i see a beautiful lady here yeah so i did this um portrait for a lady back then so just a sample sample stuff to do uh but this is one of my old work it has been long, it has still a little while, so it's just like a sample work. Somebody picture that I did. Okay, yeah, right. and uh, this is a travel max. Yeah, this is a travel max. This is actually one of uh, my students' work, yeah, in the shop. We do a uh, custom made t-shirt. So if you have a birthday, you want to do your birthday t-shirt, we do it. We do wall branding, like the mirror out there, like the cashier wall. We do the wall, we do cap, we do logo, we, do, we design logo. We do stem for badges and other stuff. We do any kind of printing you talk about. Heat press, emulsion, everything. So you do body paintings as well? Yeah, I do body painting a lot. So, so how much does it cost to do a body painting, like a facial painting? So if it's one person and I have to pay my way to go to that person, it will cost you like $10 because I have to pay my way back and forth to get a material job and I paint your face. What's your so face match you want? How much does it cost to print a t-shirt? So basically, if you're doing it in bulk, we have to be less, like $2.50 to print if you bring your own t-shirt. But if we're providing a t-shirt and printing it for you, mostly it will be around $8. Okay, $8. what are the kinds of t-shirts or the kind of printing you do on the t-shirts? Like, what are the different kinds of different types of... Yeah, sometimes people will bring their wedding t-shirt we do the bridal party t-shirt, you know. Okay. The bridal party t-shirt, we do birthday t-shirt, we do um, funeral, like, you know, funeral service t-shirt, like a farewell t-shirt, we do birthday t-shirt, we just, then we design t-shirt as per what happening around socially. Like this one, we talk about Black Lives Matter, you know, the incident with floor. This one, the shirt. Yeah, so, um, this is acrylic color. This is one of the five basic one of the five basic colors that we use to paint. And this is so at eight dollars in like there. Red also. Red. And we have yellow. Uh white. And black. Yeah. These are the colour we use.